My name is Alone and welcome to another Series 0 episode. In this one I am actually going to start off by exploring the gauntlet a bit, meaning I will first do some normal gauntlets to learn it, and then after that I will definitely try some corrupted gauntlets. And uh, it wasn't one of the bosses that was on my slides in the end of my videos, so it, it's not a boss that I really wanted to do for the whole series, but I wanted to get all of it done actually like I wanted to try the gauntlet because it seems very fun and so that's what I'm going to start off this video by it won't be everything that's in this video because I really want to see if I can get some theater of blood in done in this video I watched some guides for it and it seems beautiful I think I can definitely do it and it's going to be very interesting to see how that goes. But before the video ends also I just want to say I have a discord if you want to join that you can click the link at the top of the description and you will automatically join it. We're having a great time there so it would be fun to have you there. So I watched a very quick and very brief guide on the gauntlet and I'm just going to wing it really. You have 10 minutes to do everything you want to do before you get to the boss. AKA get gear and all that, potions, food, and uh, I'm trying to get a bow right now, I wanna do it with ranged, so I got, actually, I found the Dark Beast very early on, and you get this bowstring, and you can upgrade, I think, your weapon to tier 3 with that, and uh, I need also 60 crystal shards, I think, so let's see if we can actually do that now already. I'm not sure exactly how all of this works, but uh, I guess... I don't think I should crush them, so I guess I go Singing Bowl and then Tier 2 Attuned. Yeah, I could do that. And that was some Crystal Shards and it didn't even take the uh, the Bowstring. That's for rank 3, I guess. Okay, so there we go. That was super easy. Rank 3 Crystal Bow. I'm going to Blast. Okay, I actually thought that after the 10 minutes pass that you have inside here, I thought you would actually get teleported outside of the room not into the boss room. So this is pretty awkward. Uh, I was not really ready at all. I have like no food, so I'm probably going to die. But uh, yeah, first attempt, I will most definitely die. Now, if you die, uh, you get pretty much the shittiest rewards ever in the history of RuneScape. And that is 51 trouts. Now on the second attempt, I actually did manage to kill it, and it was pretty easy, to be honest. When I'm actually prepared, I have a ranged weapon, tier 3, a magic weapon, tier 2, chest and plate legs. I think chest was tier 3 and plate legs rank 2, and then I had a tier 1 helmet. Uh, so I had pretty good setup and a lot of food, and uh, actually now I know how to prayer switch the boss as well. So everything in total was way easier. So let's get the first normal gauntlet open, and that was a 240 kill and 1240 normal, which is not good time at all, but uh, when you're learning, I guess I'll accept that, and I will try to do some faster ones in the near future. Maybe I think I should probably like get a tier 3 ranged weapon and a tier 2 or tier 1 magic, and then just like get food and go in. I, I should try that in the normal gauntlet, but let's see the reward. 5 crystal shards, room plate body, and 4 room full helms. I actually just decided to do the corrupted gauntlet instead, it is way better in terms of rewards. And uh, well, my first attempt was kind of bad, you could say. I mean, I only got tier 2 weapon on ranged, I think I got tier 3 on mage though. But look at this, I got it to 400 HP, and I was like, ah, eh, maybe, uh, I don't know, I have 3 foods left. And then, uh, well, this happened. Ouch. Second try actually went even worse. Uh, I got the tier 3 ranged and magic and I had a lot of food. So I was actually looking at the boss's HP and my food and I was thinking I would be able to do it. But um, uh, man, the prayer flicking and everything you have to keep track of meanwhile doing the boss as a beginner is so so confusing. Like there's just way too many things happening and uh, well look at this. I just got KO'd again. Oh my god, that is so close. 136 HP. Uh, definitely getting better at the boss, but still have a lot to do. Oh my god, really? Oh, I did it! Finally! Okay, how many attempts did that take? That took me a total of 11 attempts at the uh, Corrupted Gauntlet before I got it. And uh, that is my first Corrupted Gauntlet KC. And, uh, well, I feel like I can kind of do it now, like, the last boss is not that hard when you actually get into it. 
Oh, I got the cape as well. I didn't even know you got it on 1kc, but uh, let's see what the first reward is going to be. First reward is going to be some rune items. Let's see what the uh, total value of this is. 192k, pretty good. Back to back, but uh, I had a 24 HP with no food left, but uh, yeah, we did manage to get the kill. That's all that matters, and we Wait, crystal weapon seed, isn't that worth a lot? Did I just already get a rare? Oh, 185k. I think there's something else that's worth... Uh, I think it's the crystal tool seed that's worth way more. Let me actually check how much uh, that's worth. Yeah, that's worth 1.4 million, which is still not an amazing amount, but hey, 184... 85k is not too bad. Another kill down with the 20 minutes until I system update. So let's see what the loot's going to be for the third kill. Can we get a blade? Oh, that is... That is not good loot. That is worth, like, what... 84k. Okay, this is not easy. I have died like six times in a row now on the uh, last boss. Oh, I really... It's so annoying, the Corrupted Gauntlet. Like, I thought I had it because I got a few kills in a row. But, uh, yeah, still a lot to learn, I guess. But uh, hopefully we can get better at this. Okay, uh, there we go. It only took me seven deaths to be able to get another kill again. Kill number four. Okay, that is this is so hectic. Uh, I think the way I have to go is full tier one, except a two tier chest, tier three weapons, and then just full inventory of food, and that should be enough. So uh, let's see what the fourth reward is going to be. Pretty decent, I would say. Uh, probably not the best reward, but like 200k maybe, 169k. Another back-to-back -back completion, I guess when I do get into it after a break, I uh, have a hard time in the beginning, but then I actually now can do it pretty consistently, I think. So, uh, fifth reward is going to be some decent loots again, I guess. Kill number uh, six, I'm going to go for 10 total kills, and uh, I have done, by the way, a total of... 27 now or 28 after this one, but obviously only six of them succeeded So that's pretty much my rate right now. It's not great But of course now I'm starting to uh, do them way more successfully, but uh, I will do 10 completions and uh, Hopefully we can get something good. Let's see what we get decent loot Okay, this is the best I've done so far. Look at this. I have tier 3 chest tier 2 head and legs tier 3 weapons and full inventory of food if I screw this up, I am the worst player ever. So easy with this. Look at all the food I have left. I would love to have that set up every time, but uh, it's not always possible with the RNG. But let's see what I get from this one. Oh, that is... Oh, that is tragic. Kill number eight. Two more after this one. Can we get a blade? We cannot. Kill number nine. Kill number nine. Can we get a blade? Nope. Uh, not close at all, 8 HP and no food left, but that, that is fine because this is the last kill I'm going to do. 10 KC done, and I actually really enjoyed the Corrupted Gauntlet, I definitely want to do more of this in the future, and hopefully I can get a blade. It is, by the way, a 1 in 400, so of course I didn't expect to get one from these 10 KCs, but let's, uh, let's just get one on the last one, right? That is not a blade. By the way, an advice one of you guys gave me is that uh, I can use my leftover Vorkath head from another video that I got uh, on my ranged cape to uh, pretty much bring it up to the same recovery rate of ammo to the assembler, which is, it's something to do with it, so I'm just going to do that. And I don't know if, uh, if this actually, it doesn't change it at all. I guess it's just, uh, it's just there, so now you know. So let's spend the rest of this video trying out the Theater of Blood. I have never ever done this raid before and I am very excited to actually get into it. But there is a big problem. I don't have a team. I have some people that I've spoken to or two others to uh, do this with who are all beginners. But we still need a fourth and how I'm going to solve this we will see in the next clip I guess. But uh, this is my setup I'm going to be using. I'm going to go with a tentacle whip and uh, I'm going to go with void, dragon warhammer, d claws as my spec weapon and then this range setup and this magic setup. And uh, this is basically from a YouTuber called Asuka Yen OSRS. Super good guide, you've probably, probably seen a bunch of them. And uh, this is the recommended setup for beginners. So spec it twice. 
Watch out for Move, them. move. Oh, wow. I don't have uh, tiles marked. I fucked up there. I didn't... Uh, I switched into the... I didn't have the... Ouch. <sighs> Oh, you can so that, at, yeah. At 50s, the next oh, it's wave come. The next <laughs> oh, okay, wave. yeah. Yep. Uh, freezing those blood spawns, just kill oh, them what? because it's a little bit oh. much. <laughs> Did you get comboed by blood? Yeah. Oh. Freeze him again. Over here. Oh, okay, I died. <laughs> I didn't even run into that. I didn't it's... look like it, but I got passed into it. <laughs> nice. And that was it. Oh, nice. Easy. Good stuff. Yeah. Part of it so much better. If, if you don't fuck up the crabs, you will kill it a lot faster. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> like first out of them. Alright. Go now, hit him or? Yeah. Yes. Can do a, a claw hit to normal hits with a four tick weapon and then Charlie. I think. Or is it three? I would do Charlie as the last hit. Yeah. Move. Oh, that was an oh. uh, ouch. <laughs> you can do it, chat. <laughs> yes. I have no... Ouch. I have no bruise anymore. Good. I took over some Oh, kill else. him. Yes. Chat, you're walking. Yeah, I know it's time. I took over <laughs> someone else's inventory setup, so... I only had like three bruise and no stamina else. Oh, no. He's gonna come up. Move. Please, no, I don't have stamina. I'm dead. Yeah. I'm so dead. <laughs> Yeah. And it's down. Yeah. Nice, nice. It's nice. Done now. now. Now we still continue, right? Because you can buy yes. stuff. Yeah. yeah. Okay, good. Yeah, you, you should never use supplies here. Two oh, seconds. Another pillar. Another step pillar. Out, step out of yeah. the middle. Heal up. Heal up. Heal up. Two pillars are going down. No, I, I can't dot heal down. <laughs> so dead. That's why I like to bring the shark. Yeah. For the oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Well. Yeah, I died. Should be done. 1%. Good shit. Nice. Oh, that was intense. <laughs> okay, guys, so uh, for that carry, you guys have to give me uh... a. <laughs> <laughs> aside, aside. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm chosen. Either. Yes. So it's in the middle. I'm gonna step on the first line, second line, and then I'm going to the third, so just follow. That's here, this is the third row. Then once everyone is ready, I'm gonna send it. Yep. Are you ready, guys? Ready. Yep. Okay, I'm just gonna do diagonal, so just click where I click. Yeah. Can we hit him? Oh. If, if oh. You, you need to step off, though. Yeah, yeah, Otherwise I saw. <laughs> I know it was Oh, yeah. That's true, I get that. Like if you don't have to switch for balls. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Good. Yeah, that was pretty easy, I guess. Hey, nice. I just have to move two times or one, right? I will move two tiles because they have split of damage. Okay. Watch out, watch out. So go to the inner circle. And don't attack when he looks there, so I want him don't attack. Go to the other corner, equip your whip, and attack. <gasps> like that, the east oh. cave. <laughs> don't be that guy. <laughs> oh! oh. <laughs> he just turned. Yeah. Play mage up, and I'm gonna start it in 3, 2, 1, and let's go. Three attacks and we run, right? back. Wait till he opens his legs all the way, and then you can attack now. Okay, okay you, you can... Whoever took okay, it off, you can do it. fifth now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, Go back. it. Watch out for pillar. Ouch. Go back to the other pillar, here. And now we're gonna mage. Mage on long range, every time he opens his legs. Back it, yeah, please. Yeah, I was backing. Probably then, and drop it for me, I have spec too. Yep. Yeah. 
move away. He's gonna be nasty to go. Hey, rain. Oh, never mind. 4%. Oh, 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 okay. I have no food now. I'm probably just gonna die. Oh, you died, okay. <laughs> I'm dead also. That's because we didn't do enough DPS, right? Yes. Yeah, people did not drop the staff. Yeah. That's enough? Yeah. Be honest, we made it better than I thought. <laughs> <laughs> I feel so valuable to this team. I, 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 I'm Same. not sure if there's uh, a boss I didn't die on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we're back now. Okay, perfect. Wow, zero supplies used. What an upgrade. Yeah. <laughs> I have to uh, restore two doses. <laughs> yeah. Big hits. Oh. Yeah, nice. Yeah, yeah, nice. Nice, good job. Good stuff. Uh, drop salve. Wait, 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 wait. The ID behind this oh, bosses. Oh no, dude. The ID behind this bosses, you want to switch, pre-switch after two attacks into your highest DPS gear. So he's ranged mm -hmm. now. Mm -hmm. You want to pre-switch into melee gear and pray mage. So pray mage? Oh, oh okay. Yeah, it's a six. The ID the ID behind that is if you're in range gear, hitting him twice and you pre-switch into melee. You play mage, if he turns melee, you can attack instantly, and if he turns mage, you're already playing that and only have to switch Oh, ah, okay, 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 yeah, yeah. So you, so you basically set up for, like, one thing, 100%, exactly. yeah. Exactly, and you want to make sure that you're always switching back into your highest DPS gear. So from mage, you want to go to melee. From melee, you're always going to pre-switch into range, because that's your highest DPS after melee. Okay. And that's pretty much the idea. So after that raid, when we died on the third boss, we did go for a four-man, and uh, we died at Sarpus because of uh, pretty much stupid mistakes. We could have killed this easily, it's one of the easier bosses, but uh, everyone at the same time kind of screwed up, and that happens. But uh, we didn't get a KC during the stream, but uh, as you could see, we got pretty damn close to it. And I'm very happy with the progress that we made. I feel quite a lot more confident with the raid already. So the next day, I actually went into the TUB raid again with uh, the same guy that uh, coached us pretty much the first time, but with two other people also and did a four-man that were pretty good raiders, so to say. So we actually did get my first KC, and uh, I'm going to show that right now. Okay. Ouch. Second move. <laughs> I'm just getting fucking pinballed. <laughs> Sign we're almost past it. Oh my god, dude. This is the I'd say I'd say this is this is the hardest learning curve, P2. Yeah. Trying to get into the river. Okay. Because he's so low will push Dead. it anyways. That's it. Do I call so spec now? PD? No no no. At the end no. of P D. Okay. He's five. If if you're about to die, okay range. If you're about to die, then you want to claw and only show your claws. Okay. But we're gonna see how far we can get it. Yeah, a minute. Yeah, you'll make it a minute. I still have D-claw spec. Yes. After 20%, when you see the purple tornadoes come, then okay. we're gonna unleash all the claws. Sure. And then after that, you're gonna take most damage also. So that's why you save up your specs for them. Okay. Now you can Ready? KO it pretty much from there. So now unleash all your specs. Make sure you put it of course. It's gonna range. be a green ball. I got it. You oh. gotta keep moving from that purple, yeah? The heals, heals are a lot. Okay. Range still. Crab, this is careful. Almost done. Oh, I got purple somehow. Heads up. Damage. Oh fuck. Oh no. 45-45. That's oh. not lucky. Oh my god, we're trolling. Oh, don't hit the boss, don't hit the boss. Okay. Yeah, get oh. out. Same thing with webs as before, like you don't want to be in front of us or like close. Alright. Because when, if you're in the way of whoever's in that the... That was our first AZ for you. Oh, nice. Huge. <laughs> I am actually surprised I did. I mean, I'm sure I fucked 
everything up for you guys like multiple times, uh, but I'm surprised I didn't die. Only on web face to be honest. Yeah, okay. The web operator is pretty good, good. not gonna yeah. lie. Awesome. Congrats on your first PC, man. Thank you. I need to turn my prayers off. Dude. You see, the, you see <laughs> the difference when you go with learners and like people who know what to do? Yeah. How smooth it goes? Yeah. It's a lot, Just... a lot better to go with like three yeah. people who know than one learner. Yeah. Yes. So with that, I now have my first KC on TUB, and the fact that I didn't actually die on the last boss surprised me. Of course, I played far from perfect, and I had help from some amazing raiders. But uh, I do feel like I actually know most of the mechanics on the bosses now, or even all of the mechanics. I just don't really know how to kill or execute them perfectly. But I'm actually going to tick off TUB off the list, and with that, we only have the Inferno left. But that doesn't mean at all that I'm done with Theater of Blood. I am definitely coming back here because from now on, the series series to hero will be changed into not just specific boss killing because it is only the Inferno left, but it is going to be a road to a twisted bow. And when I do have that twisted bow, I can go off and finish off every single boss in RuneScape with the Inferno. So this is going to be the end of this video, I hope you guys did enjoy it, it's a bit of a different one with uh, more people talking in the video with Discord and all that, but I hope you guys did enjoy it nonetheless. Now before I end the video, I actually want to promote the people that helped me through TOB, so I'm just going to read a quick thing here, and their clan is actually called Freedom CC. So uh, the Freedom CC is an established OSRS community aimed at bringing members together for every aspect of the game. There's actually no requirements to join the community and they welcome everyone regardless of level and account type. You can make so many great friends there and uh, find people willing to help at any stage of the game. And as you guys could see, they helped me through the Theater of Blood so smoothly and there was not a single moment I felt uncomfortable with these people. It was so nice to raid with them. So if you also want to find some nice people to get into raiding with, that is probably the best place to find them.